Dude, come on. I could have used a robot butler on my raft. I should have decapitated you when I had the chance. What's up, guys? Welcome back to Raft, where I've spent the last 109 days stranded in the middle of the ocean on a pile of garbage. And as many of you know, I've made do with what's available. I'm pretty proud of my little floating shack on the sea, but at the same time, there's always room for improvement. <laughs> I get the feeling by the end of this episode, we're gonna have a new place to live. Assuming I can actually get in here. I haven't exactly seen a doorbell, or a door. I would imagine that was a door at some point. You know, like when all the rich people showed up in their mega yachts to flood into their brand new bubble city. But like, it's no use to me. I can fly up there about as well as this barbecued seagull. So I'm kind of hoping that these giant yellow arrows are gonna point me towards like a lower poor people entrance, or exit more likely. You know, the workers who made this place had to leave when they were done somehow. Here we go, this is exactly what I was talking about. And I'm sure some of you guys are probably wondering why I'm quietly paddling up you know, rather than blasting the engines. It's because I don't know if this place has some kind of ocean hobo defense system or not, but if it does, it would absolutely blow me out of the water. So I would much rather sneak up if possible. I'm starting to think it doesn't matter how much seaweed lube I have, my extra thick raft is not gonna be able to fit in here. And I really don't wanna go in the water with Barbara, so. <laughs> we got a bit of a problem. Why would they make it so low? Now, am I forgetting something? I'm fed, I'm hydrated, I'm armed to the tits, the stove is off, I fed the pets before I left, and it's a brand new day which means we shouldn't get lost in the dark, hopefully. I think that's everything. I really just don't want to go in unprepared. The last thing I want to do is screw this up. Speaking of screwing things up, you think Barbara is able to follow me in there? Only one way of finding out. I'm not gonna wait around to see. I'm definitely gonna want to scurry my juicy rump up this ladder as soon as possible. Jesus Christ. <laughs> so she can follow me in here. Good to know. It's probably for the best we get all the near-death experiences out of the way now. <laughs> Hello? You guys have no idea how badly I want to meet someone. Like, even if it's an old, rich someone. I'll just take stuff from them with my pointy stick. <laughs> but look at things, they had everything. A plantation, elevator, surface access, storage area, generator, and cafeteria. Considering this place is pitch black at night, which is why I wanted to come in the day, I'm willing to bet there's something wrong with the generator, which means the elevator might not actually work. So, ironically enough, I think we're gonna spend the day down here in the dark, seeing if we can fix or build something. They've got bugs. Should I be worried about bugs? I'm not gonna be worried about bugs, what am I saying? I've dealt with tractor-sized bears and boulder-throwing birds and the predator shark. The last thing I need to worry about is a little bit extra protein wiggling between my toes. Oh, I forgot to mention the rats. Rats! They're really more like roid raging beavers. Let me go ahead and pick this guy off real quick. Oh, oh, okay. Uh, maybe I'll introduce you to the machete. <laughs> no, no, don't bite me. The last thing I need is whatever's coursing through your veins. Well, as much as I enjoy it, now might not be the time for a combat top hat. I'm thinking we probably want to equip our light for now. Maybe the helmet at some point, but I'd like to see where we're going. Where are we going? We want to go to the cafeteria, storage area, or generator? I think I'm going to make a beeline to the generator. If something is in fact broken, I'd like to know what, what I need to do to fix it. That way when I'm looking around, I have a general idea what I'm looking for. Every time I turn a corner, I'm worried about seeing another labradoodle-sized Rat. Oh, it's locked from the other side. All right, then cafeteria it is, I suppose. 
Watch this all end up being a complete waste of time. Like, the elevator does work, the generator is humming flawlessly, and I'm just roaming around, picking fights for no friggin' reason. Okay, no, please, please don't. Again, I really do not need to get bitten anymore today. Barbara's already had her piece. I don't even want to get the meat. I got one steak already, but let's be honest, you're probably not all that appetizing. I'm gonna leave you here as a message to the others. How about that? Do you think they could pick up on that? Who am I kidding? They're probably just going to eat the corpse. Can't get in anywhere here. Oh, this is going to be the cafeteria. All right, then. Yeah, you guys may have evolved to be built like a bulldog, but you can't figure out folding chairs and height. So I'm going to go ahead and take my free victory, if you don't mind. I have absolutely no problem with cheesing any part of this game. It's survival. It's a necessity. Now, who else wants some? You? Get over here. Pink air. Oh, come on now. Nobody, nobody saw that. We're just going to edit that out. Absolutely flawless. I'm like a hobo Legolas, okay? One wobbly shot, one disgusting kill. I'm not really seeing anything worth taking in the cafeteria. It's just a bunch of garbage, and I've got plenty of garbage at sea. <gasps> Don't worry, I brought my own food and drink. Thank you very much. Maybe there's something interesting in the kitchen? Oh, we got something. Generator part. Yup, that's probably important. <laughs> well, at least everything is nicely labeled for me, so I don't actually need to know that the generator is broken to be able to figure this out. <laughs> Very good. So, where do we have to go next? That looks like another generator part right there. This place is a little bit of a maze. Or maybe more of a labyrinth, because there's a lot of angry stuff hanging out inside. Oh, I guess he knew what was best for him. I mean, it's the exact same part, but sure, I'll, I'll take it. <laughs> One more down. Well, something tells me we're not going to be getting up to the plantation anytime soon, but we do have crane controls and possibly a generator. I found three... Four generator parts now, I think? They're just kind of lying around as you walk places. Oh, here we go. Yes, perfect. So you go there, you go there. Oh, they have numbers. Didn't even realize. Could I maybe get some lights? I really appreciate lights. Oh, somebody left behind their lunch. It might not be good anymore, but it's only one way of finding out. Leftovers and a coconut, wonderful. All right, well, we got a crane that seems to be working. Oh. I gotta move this stuff around so that I can actually get to the surface access, huh? Well, about half an hour and one trip back to the raft later, I think I have it figured out? Like, technically, that piece should be over here, but do I really need it there? Can't I just walk through an empty space just as easily as walking through a container? It's only one way of finding out. <laughs> Fingers crossed this actually works. Come on. Yeah! Oh, thank God. <gasps> man, oh man, that was frustrating. To the point where my light ran out. So we're wandering around in the dark now, folks. Really sucks. You know what? I've had enough of bullies like you. Can you... Ow, okay, that really hurt. You're gonna try to nibble on my nips, are you? Well, now I'm gonna walk around carrying you like a steak. <gasps> okay, we've got surface access, as well as a note, and a water pipe. I don't really need water on my raft. I'm kind of surrounded by it all the time. <gasps> Where does this lead? It just doesn't work. It's weird. Well, come along, Steakums. We have a surface to explore. Uh, what? Well, why does the surface have water? Why can I not climb? Are you kidding me right now? Oh, oh, that's not good. Oh, that's really not good. No, 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 no. Wait, wait, wait. I, I think I have a, 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 a air bottle. Air bottles are probably important. Yeah, I like to breathe. <gasps> no, I'm gonna drown like a giant mutant rat down here. Please tell me it stops. Tell me it stops, please tell me it stops. No! You gotta be kidding me right now! What did I screw up? Generator, storage area, plantation. Exit? Where, where, where's, where's the exit? There's gotta be an exit around here somewhere, please. Cafeteria, okay. 
What do we have down here? Now is not the time to get lost in the maze. Generator, storage area, cafeteria. Oh my god, everything sucks. I did not come equipped for swimming. This is not good. I technically have zero oxygen left and my health is plummeting. Oh, oh, thank god. What was... I'm gonna assume that wasn't a rat laughing at me and it was just me choking. Okay, well, we didn't die, but we didn't really accomplish much. I have to be missing something. There has to be a way in there. There's no way they would tease me with something this cool and then just save it for chapter three. So we're going back in. I'm, I'm prepared, don't worry. I've, I've got my rat steaks and I've got water and what else could a person need other than an uneaten ass? Please don't, Barbara. Not now, I'm having a bad day. Okay, when I can see your teeth through my eyes, that's not cool. For a second there, I was kind of hoping a water pipe was some way of breathing underwater, but it's just a way of moving water around. I refuse to believe that I can move all of this water. So I'm thinking I might need to swim my way back to the generator, and then because the water is risen, I can now get into the plantation area, right? Because the ladder was broken. The only problem is I actually need to make this swim, and I don't see that being possible. I'll give it a shot. Still have no idea where I'm going, though. Cafeteria is that way, okay, and then we want to make a couple of turns, and generator is open. Oh, they may have given me a shortcut when I was panicking. Okay, well that was actually pretty easy. I don't know what I'm panicking for. All right, Plantation, what have you got for me? Hopefully no more rats. I'm, I'm full up on rats, thank you. This was one of the doors that was blocked on the other side, on the main floor, so now I can easily access my raft. I don't need to make this swim again. Perfect. So, the plantation. I would imagine if they could grow a ton of food, then they wouldn't miss a little bit, right? I know I'm not exactly hard up on food, but I'm eating mostly meat, and it's not exactly the greatest when you're at sea. You've got some pretty wild poops. You know what else will make you poop wild? About 10,000 volts of electricity. <laughs> Should I have not turned on the generator? I was about to swipe about 60 pounds of soybeans, but now I'm thinking maybe not. <laughs> maybe I'll just try the electricity. Uh, I'm assuming I just need to piggyback across. I'm gonna go for it. Yeah, there we go. No problem at all. What kind of dummy would get electrocuted? Not me. I can't believe I'm about to risk my life for duct tape, but it's kind of worth it. I don't think I've seen tape before, have I? We probably need this for something. It's literally the only thing in here. These peas look perfectly good. Why would I not want to take a pea plant? I would love them for my garden, then I wouldn't need to eat a giant gross fish all the time. Oh, this is absolutely maddening. What else did they have? They have bananas! Look! Oh, I can actually cut this down. If I had an axe, I've only got a machete. Not good enough. Okay, fine. Keep your electric bananas. See if I care. I'll, I'll probably be back for them. Strawberries? Man, they have so much good food. I can actually take the strawberries. Thank you! <laughs> so, we got one thing to grow at least. Still want to try to get my hands on those bananas and peas, but oh, can I turn this off? Can I just, uh, and uh, it requires three duct tape. Oh wait, there's this duct tape right here. Why would three duct tape fix the electricity? <laughs> Don't ask questions, just go, 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 go. It didn't do it. It opened the door. This is why you don't assume. <laughs> okay, note, got it. Go, 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 go. Okay, you know what? I'm getting a little tired of this little game. Pangaroa project. That door seems like it might be important. I'm pretty sure I can get through there. I saw another panel over this way, but it needs more duct tape. I'm getting way too ballsy with this electricity. I need to stop moving when it's shocking. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know where there's any more tape though. 
I guess we could try the surface. Hopefully this actually gives me access to the surface. I just want to spend like two minutes roaming around the surface. I don't want this entire video to be in a bunch of tunnels, so help me God. Okay, here we go. Stairs are good. After almost drowning and being electrocuted and eaten by giant mutant rats, I finally made it to the surface. Ow! Oh, hi! Do you remember when I said they might have some kind of ocean hobo defense system? I think I found it! What the hell was that? It looked like some kind of little taser R2-D2. Hello? It was trying to communicate with me. I thought it said something. At the very least, it had something on its screen. Maybe it can't figure out dumpsters. There it is. Excuse me. I don't want to have to shoot you, but then again, I also don't want to get tased in the dick again. Are you cool? I am at your service. Oh, you're at my service, are you? No, I don't think you are. Take a seat. No, no, back it on up. Back it on up. No, we don't need to be like this. Come on. I could use a robot friend on my ramp. <laughs> you can't go and say, oh, you brought a friend. Well, isn't that just cute? <laughs> yeah, for some reason, I really don't think you want to help me. It's just not feeling the love right now. Could you, could you please back up? Who would have thought that metal arrows aren't great against cyborgs? Please sit down. They can die. Oh, crap. No, no, I don't, I don't have any more. Oh. Okay, we're good. You're dead? I got a key card. I'll, I'll take a key card. That seems important. Mostly just want my arrows, to be honest. Dude, come on. I could have used a robot bottler on my rat. I should have decapitated you when I had the chance. Don't mind me. Just gonna sip some water and pull an Oscar the Grouch here on the corner of Memory Lane and Exterio Lane. I really want to see what's up with that statue. I really don't want to pick any more robo fights. Can you guys please just leave me alone? I'm a sightseer. Why is this guy not wearing pants? Weird. Max Lanshop, founder of the Tangaroa Project, savior of Earth's finest. La di da. Taking this. I could use this on my raft, I guess. <laughs> I just want a little of everything to be perfectly honest. I don't want to be stuck on garbage, though. Stop it. Oh my god, this place is huge. There's so much to see. I, I honestly didn't think we could get up here. <gasps> they had little golf carts and everything. Cheese burgers. Oh, I could go for a burger. I got a key. I should be able to get in anywhere now. Or not? All right, then screw you. Maybe I didn't want a burger. Maybe I'll just eat my rat steaks and go about my day. Oh, here we go. This looks like it takes a key card. It actually consumes one key card. So I need to kill the robots if I want to be able to get in multiple places. Good to know. Okay. Just gonna take the elevator? Really? <laughs> All right, well, expect the worst, I suppose. I don't even know what this is. Kind of looks like an apartment building, I suppose. Yeah. So, oh my god, look at the furniture. I could take all this for my raft. Or I could just live here. What am I saying? Screw the raft. I'll, I'll just reprogram the robots and this is my new home. Wait, where'd all the people go? Holy crap. <gasps> yeah. Well, I haven't seen anybody. I got so wrapped up that I didn't even realize the place is freaking abandoned. Why is it abandoned? It doesn't make any sense. This place is perfectly good. It's better than good. It's luxury. Just imagine never having used a toilet before in your life. You're constantly spewing off the side of the ship and wiping with palm leaves and plastic. And now you have this. How would you ever leave it? I don't understand. It just blows my mind. Holy crap. Okay, that's why. That's probably why. Jesus. Cr sit down. Okay, then. I don't think I need to use the toilet anymore. <laughs> what else have we got going on? Oh, interesting. We taped up this room for some reason. Could it be because of giant rats? No, I already found the giant rat. Safe? Oh, a crate. Glass and explosive powder. And a big screen TV that I can't take. Interesting. Well, overall, this is going to be a 
really productive outing. I can already tell compared to the crap that I've had to sort through the past, but still kind of hoping to find people. Well, we better get going. There's no time like the present to bludgeon a roid raging beaver with the sharpened sign. <gasps> Come on, just one person. Just one friend. That's all I ask. I don't think that's asking too much. No? Nothing. What is this? Oh, a token. Great. So if I see an arcade or a casino, I'll be able to play. This is interesting. It looks like I can zip line down to the next building, but I don't know why I would want to do that, because it's just a bunch of plastic garbage on a roof, and then I'd be stuck. I can't get indoors. <laughs> think I'm going to pass on that for now. Let's check the other apartments. I think I may have seen something out here. We got another token. But more importantly, it really looks like it wants me to make this jump. Right? Can I make this jump? Is this stupid? This might be really stupid. <laughs> oh! That was stupid. I did the thing that I said I shouldn't do. I think furniture also disappeared. Am I s Oh, maybe not. Maybe I'm not screwed. Maybe I can jump back. Or just Spider-Man my way down? As long as I don't die, I'm pretty happy to be perfectly honest. <laughs> okay, yeah, you know what? I think I'm done tempting fate for a day. You know what? I think that's gonna be it for this episode of Raft, guys. And this city is huge. I mean, I have no idea how much is here, but like, it seems like it just could go on forever. Like, way more than one episode. So, if you guys want to see more, as always, be sure to leave a like on this video, let me know, and I'll return to see what happened to all the people here. But thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.